Wild Mustangs, A Short Account of the Feral Horses in America, 1841, by Charles Hamilton Smith provides a captivating insight into the lives of feral horses roaming the American landscape during the 19th century. Smith's narrative skillfully intertwines historical accounts, personal observations, and vivid descriptions, offering readers a rich tapestry of the wild mustang's existence. The narrative opens with an evocative portrayal of the untamed beauty of the American West, setting the stage for the introduction of the feral horses. Smith's prose paints a vivid picture of the rugged terrain, vast plains, and towering mountains, providing readers with a sense of the awe-inspiring wilderness that served as the backdrop for the Mustangs' lives. Through meticulous research and first-hand accounts, Smith delves into the origins of the wild Mustangs, tracing their lineage to the horses brought to the Americas by Spanish conquistadors centuries earlier. He explores the adaptive capabilities of these horses, marveling at their resilience and ability to thrive in harsh environments. Smith's admiration for the Mustangs is palpable, as he describes them as symbols of freedom and masters of the wilderness. The narrative shifts seamlessly between historical anecdotes and detailed descriptions of the Mustang's behavior and characteristics. Smith offers fascinating insights into the social dynamics of wild horse herds, highlighting the complex hierarchy and familial bonds that govern their interactions. He also examines the Mustang's physical attributes, from their sturdy build to their keen senses, illustrating how these traits contribute to their survival in the wild. One of the most compelling aspects of Smith's narrative is his exploration of the human-mustang relationship. He delves into the ways in which humans have interacted with and influenced the lives of feral horses throughout history. From Native American tribes who revered the mustangs as spiritual beings to settlers who viewed them as obstacles to be tamed, Smith provides a nuanced understanding of the multifaceted relationship between humans and horses on the American frontier. Throughout the narrative, Smith grapples with the complexities of conservation and preservation in the face of encroaching civilization. He laments the loss of the wild mustang's natural habitat due to urbanization and industrialization, expressing concern for their future survival. Yet, amidst these challenges, he remains hopeful, advocating for efforts to protect and preserve the remaining wild horse populations. In addition to its informative content, Wild Mustangs also captivates readers with its vivid imagery and lyrical prose. Smith's descriptions of the American landscape are rich and immersive, transporting readers to a bygone era where wild mustangs roamed free. His passion for the subject matter shines through in every word, inviting readers to share in his fascination and reverence for these majestic creatures. In conclusion, Wild Mustangs, A Short Account of the Feral Horses in America, 1841, by Charles Hamilton Smith is a captivating exploration of the lives and lore of feral horses in 19th century America. Through meticulous research, vivid descriptions, and a deep appreciation for his subject matter, Smith brings the untamed spirit of the wild mustangs to life on the page. This book is a must-read for anyone interested in the history of the American West or the enduring allure of these iconic symbols of freedom and resilience.